Let's try some North Korean cuisine that was made by the power plant. Well, things have gotten worse. They're now testing nuclear missiles again. In a special and important announcement at noon, North Korean TV claimed that the country has successfully conducted a hydrogen bomb test at 10 a.m. local time. Though the test conducted with in ingenious wisdom, technology, and efforts, the DPKP, for that's Korea, North Korea, proved that the technolo technological specifications of the newly developed H-bomb for the purposes of the test were accurate and scientifically verified the power of the smaller H-bomb, these statements said. And you must remember, their newscasters read everything like this. It was confirmed that the H-bomb, conducted in a safe and proper manner, had no adverse impact on the ecological or environment. No, no, of course not. Never. You can trust them to tell you the truth. There's an English bulletin on KCNA, North Korea's central news agency. The announcement followed the UCSGS detection of a 5.1 megatude earthquake in the vicinity of the Nunpyong nuclear power site. That's their capital. That's how genius they are. Let's poison the capital. The only livable place in the damn hole. The epicenter of the jolt was located 12 miles northeast of Sujahab. I'm going to butcher it. Sunjibajam, that would be S-U-N-G-J-I-A-E-G-A-M, for those who want to try better than I did, which is in the Ryang province at the depth of 10 kilometers, according to preliminary data from the U.S. Geological Survey. That ties into this. Dreams come true. Jimmy Kimmel shows video of people congratulating North Korea on an H-bomb test. This ranks right up there with people who believe in global warming voting for Sanders. Late night comedian Jimmy Kimmel aired a video Wednesday night of individuals on Hollywood Boulevard congratulating North Korea on its claim of a successful hydrogen bomb test. The enemy that says he wants to kill us. In other words, it's like the man on the street thing. The idea of North Korea having a hydrogen bomb would be somewhat alarming to those of us here on the coast. However, to prove how stupid people are, there are people that said, that's really good, congratulations, North Korea. North Korea threatens almost weekly to bomb us with them. You know, I think, it, I think that if they do believe that one day dreams do come true, another said, I bet you, I bet Bet you they were voting for Hillary or Sanders. I bet my ass that idiot was a Sanders supporter. If you believe you can do it, then you can achieve it. That would be a Clinton supporter. Congratulations, Kim Jong-un, on everything you've done, one more person added. What have they done? They have tested a bomb that they plan on using on you and your children, moron. Ron Paul Institute, North Korea nukes, a case for non-intervention. A last thing about the uh, North Korea mess. Cries of glee must have estimated, must have emanated, excuse me, from the military-industrial complex and the Beltway ta think tanks, as North Korean leader Kim Jong Un made another of his periodic pleas for global attention. The nuclear detonation is looking less likely as a powerful and thus significant than the North Korean government initially claimed. But that is not stopping vested U.S. interest in playing up the threat. To some, like Donald Trump, it's all China's fault. It said, but the North Korean problem is a direct result of U.S. interventionism and uncertainty it produces. After all, the Libyans gave up their nuclear program and not long afterwards were regime changed by Washington. Yeah, they killed Gaddafi for nothing. No one thinks a similar attack on North Korea is imminent. So as a deterrent, North Korea's nuclear policy actually works well. I don't know that I agree with him on that, because I, I'm very libertarian, but that's like saying that your duplex neighbor or your apartment neighbor is allowed to grow meth because it only affects him. No, if it blows up, it affects you. Um, it's not like he's selling weed. Drugs are drugs. Yeah, weed doesn't explode, bonehead. Um, no, this is really good, man. The, uh, the problem here is if... 
North Korea or any country has a nuclear accident, it does affect their neighbors. It does affect other people, and it affects them in ways that greatly affect their lives. So I'm not sure I agree with Ron on that one. We've got uh, three more stories to get to to end your massive Fukushima update. I do want to give a shout out to Sticker Junkie. You can see their stickers there. Oops, as I destroy my set. Sticker Junkie. Go to Sticker Junkie. Uh, best stickers you've ever had. If you ever, if you know what you want, they can copy it. If you have some idea, they they will they will get the idea out of your head and make it a physical, tangible reality. When you check out. Type correct views or the correct views, and you're going to get a discount because uh, Sticker Junkie supports us, and we proudly support them. Be like Prez. Um, Julie Fiddler, safe, it asks. A nuclear waste site at St. Louis sits above underground fire. That would be St. Screwus. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency is ordering an isolation barrier to be built at the Westlake Landfill in St. Screwus, Missouri, where nuclear waste dating back to 1973 Manhattan Project was illegally dumped four years ago. Merry Christmas, St. Louis. You thought the Saints were having trouble. An underground fire has been burning beneath the landfill some 1,200 feet away from the adjoining Bridgeton landfill. EPA spokeswoman Angela Brees said the barrier will essentially be an underground wall. Again, the location of what is, that that is something to be worked out, she said. Additional engineering controls will be installed according to Brees, including cooling loops to prevent impacts from the fire at the landfill where to come into contact with nearby radioactive materials. The agency has not said when the barrier will be installed, which has infuriated many locals, including Don Chapman. Just take your time. It's just nuclear waste. It's just cancer. It's just heart disease. It's just catching every cold that comes down your way. It's not a big deal, right? What's a few brain cancers in children? And it affects babies more largely because of the soft spot on the head, in case you're wondering. Which I think most of you on the left have. And if you voted for Cruz over Trump, I know you do. Let's just let's keep all the nuclear power plants open, shall we? Let's vote for a progressive. Let's vote for a banker. They have had quite a while now to figure out what they're going to do barrier-wise at the site, Chapman said. I think this is one of the biggest flaws in the EPA and Superfund is the amount of time it takes to get anything done. In October, an underground fire at the Bridgeton landfill only added to the anxiety of local residents as it began to smolder even closer into the radioactive waste. Neighbors fear it could spread nuclear contamination over a large area. Well, that's, we just explained how that happened ad nauseum at the beginning of this. Not could, it does. See how they do? It could spread nuclear active. Right there. See that? that, that that's what's commonly known as bullshit. Will spread nuclear contamination over a large area, as we went over at the beginning of the show. The work will be paid for by Republic Services, which owns both landfills. Lucky them. The company maintains there is no risk the fire will reach the radioactive waste. No, not a chance. In 09, Westville, Westlake Landfill was declared a super fun site. In 08, the EPA announced a plan to cap the nuclear waste with a rock and clay soil. And people wonder why I yell. Independent.co.uk terrorists could use drone bombs to attack nuclear power station, experts warn. It's like saying if I drop this brick, it might hit the ground. We have gone over this so many times. Yes, of course that's going to happen. Drones that can be bought at the high street shops could be used by terrorists to attack nuclear power stations. Major events like the GC summit or even the Prime Minister's car, according to a report. The Remote Control Project, which is hosted by the Oxford Research Group, looked at more than 200 drones and concluded that they will be used as simple, affordable, and effective airborne improvised exploding devices. Now, I know what they're going to say. They're going to say there's a million barriers to prevent this kind of thing from becoming anything that you have to worry about. That is also BS. You have Fukushima keeping water in tanks with rubber seals. 
and you're going to let the authorities tell you that there is no threat that this is going to be used. People who don't know how to read and write have found their way to sneak into North Korea and out of North Korea. Particularly out. How do you think North Korea has a drug problem? The drugs come in. So ISIS terrorists would never think about such a thing as throwing a drone at what is surely a, a very well protected nuclear site in North Korea, right? It, I'm not saying they're going to do it, you know, God forbid, at the Perry Nuclear Site, although it's possible. They're going to hit a very unprotected spot at a very unprotected time. Because while they are barbarians, they are not idiots. And that brings us to, speaking of idiots, the dumb, 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 dumb day. The dumb, dumb, dumb day, dumb day of the day. The TSA. TSA. I love trap step. Um, TSA can force passengers to go through body scanners. Replace the word body scanner with cancer machine. Don't believe me? Look up Dr. Helen Caldicott. Don't believe me? Look up Dr. Chris Busby. Look up Lauren Moray. Look up backscatter radiation machines cause cancer. For another thing, we have no idea who's even calibrating or testing these things. They've been found to juice people at much higher intervals than they say they do, and there has been a provable increase in cancer among people that run these machines on a daily basis who work there. This is all easy to look up with the simplest search engine. A new policy change mandates the Transportation Security Administration to require airport passengers to undergo electronic body scans. They're going to push this through to the backscatter radiation machines. The Department of Homeland Security revised the advanced imagery technology protocols for the TSA to no longer allow passengers to opt out of electronic scans, though the machines at checkpoints prior to the change people could use to undergo physical screening. It said while passengers may generally decline AIT screening in favor of physical screening, TSA may directly mandate AIT screening for some passengers. This is an awful idea. You would have to have missed everything that I have ever gone over in this show to think that that is a good idea. Why would you trust people when you have no idea who they even are? to calibrate radiation machines and then promptly send you through them. I'm sorry, that makes absolutely zero sense to me at all, and that is the dummy of the day. Friends, you're listening to the correct views. Share this video. Let people know about what you heard. Otherwise, I'm doing it for nothing. And please, do not support candidates that are in favor of the big banks that are funding the nuclear power plants and do not vote for anybody that in fa is in favor of subsidies because if you do, you're voting for someone that is going to be bringing along nuclear power plants and routine tritium releases which give you what Helen Colicott refers to as simply a routine cancer. Uh, you can donate to the show, The Correct Views, at Hotmail.com. Please let me know you want to donate. I'll tell you where to send it. All, all, everything, every penny you give me goes towards a better show. You see this? Light it. Look. There's three of those. That's what it looks like if you don't donate. Only I won't have that one either. Or that one above me. And I'll be sitting in the dark. And that sucks. Well, then again, I'd probably be a lot prettier. Friends, do me a favor. Donate. Good night. God bless. And thank you for watching.